Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're gonna be talking about Octominer. We're gonna be setting up some shelves here, going over various details about these shelves because we're trying to figure out the best scenario, the best setup. If we're gonna place them like this or place them horizontally, we don't know for sure. So I'll be trying out both scenarios as well as the shelves. So if you think that's interesting, if you like, subscribe to the bell, go to CryptoLLC.org. If you're looking for someone to set up a GPU or ASIC mining farm, such as this one here. Slowly building it out, almost done with it. Got a bunch of risers, I'm packing things. A lot of ethernet. Also, this is one of our storage areas for our other locations. So there's gonna be a lot of electronics in this uh, warehouse for the time being. Um, also, if you wanna buy GPUs or ASICs, right now is the best time, the prices are really down. If you're buying like a thousand plus uh, graphics cards, you can get them for really cheap, you can get them less than MSRP. MSRP is like $700, $800 for $3080. Now you can get them for like $600, bucks, somewhere around there. Um, especially if you buy a couple thousand units, maybe even cheaper than that. It's a great price to get in. Right now is the best time to set up a farm. You can mine different coins, not just Ethereum. You can mine uh, Raven coin. You can mine Ergo. You can mine anything else. Go to whattomine.com. Type in the information for $3080. You can, you'll see that even if Ethereum goes to proof of stake, you'll still be making good money mining other coins. Also, ASICs are down. Used to be uh, three times more expensive. Right now you can get an S19J uh, and also the Pro 100 Terra hash for about $3,400, which is a great price to jump into mining. And then lastly, Bitcoin saves your wealth. Bitcoin helps you maintain your purchasing power and Jesus Christ saves your souls. So make sure you have one and the other. All right, so let's get started. So here's our shelf. We got this shelf. Um, it was a while ago. I think it was from Home Depot. Don't know for sure. Actually, my partner got it. I actually don't know at all. <laughs> but he got the shelf. And um, we got it built out for an Octominer. You see the height is perfect. So the height is perfect and so what we're doing is we want to see if we can stack these octaminers like this or maybe horizontally and uh, we also have to keep in uh, keep in mind that if we stack them like this all the GPUs would be like this because you can see how this motherboard is sideways right so the cards are like this so if I flip this thing up and all these cards go up so you have to have like a bracket here to kind of hold down GPUs, you know, and um, other various things that probably require, because you don't want the GPUs to sag indefinitely, especially if you have 10 of them on this board and they're all sagging the same way. There's gonna be some uh, pressure on this board and who knows how it might react to that. So put it like this. Also for maintenance, you have to pull it out. So you got these handles, right? You can pull it out, that's great. But then imagine how heavy it is. It's already pretty heavy, just as it is right now, with no cards on it. I put 12 cards in it, and then I put these wires in it, you know, and then I put the lid on it, and I slide it in there. It's gonna get pretty heavy. So I have to make sure that our shelf can handle that weight. <laughs> and then imagine you have like one, two, you know, you got like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten 10 of them. This shelf needs to handle that weight. So we're gonna be looking at the specs of the shelf, make sure it can handle that weight. That's a lot of weight. Weight of these rigs right here. Then not only that, you're gonna be going up a second layer here, and the second layer, and then potentially a third layer. I'll actually show you on this side here. You got the first layer here, second layer, third layer, maybe even a fourth layer. And that's a lot of rigs sitting on this shelf here. So this shelf, super sturdy, it has to handle all that weight. And then also on the back, you're gonna have even more weight with the wires. So you can see this one has three wires here. This adds more weight to it because it's still going to be contacting that shell because we're gonna wrap them around and zip tie them, all that stuff. So imagine additional three more wires here, 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 and so on. There's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of space. Um, so we're gonna have to be looking at all those things. 
And if, if, you, if anyone out there that's watching this video that had Octomire that had shelving like this set up or something similar, uh, make sure you guys leave a comment. Leave some comments there to help out everybody else that wants to build something similar that maybe there's a better way of doing it. Again, this is just testing it out. We're just testing it out. And uh, if we find a better way of doing it, we'll do a better way. So this is gonna be a little process that'll take some time, but we'll get to it. All right, so you got those guys there in the bottom, more there. Then you have this uh, net, or what is this thing called, a net. Also has to handle it. I doubt it will. So there's gonna be some modifications that'll need to be done on this shelving here. Might need to add more two by fours, maybe even add a two by four in the center, all the way down there, up here, and kind of extend it because, again, you're gonna be putting so much weight, and this distance is so long. You know, it's like, like seven feet or eight feet long. So it's pretty long. Um, so if you have one, two, three, four, let's say, you may put a two by four here, right? So you got one, two, three, four, let's say four octaminers, two by four, and then maybe four more, something like that. Also keeping in mind that we're gonna have a PDU. So the PDU is also gonna be most likely stationed in the center. So maybe that's what we're gonna do. We have four, four PDU in the center. That PDU will have enough amps to handle at least eight rigs because they have four here, four there, maybe PDU that handles eight, four there, four there, PDU that handles eight, and so on. That might be a setup. So there's a lot of variables here we have to play with and figure out what's the best one to go with. Also, price. So we always try to save our clients money and uh, we want to build out something that is good quality but at the same time, it doesn't cost millions of dollars to build. We don't want to buy PDUs that are overkill. We don't want to set up something that we don't need to do. So there's a lot of things that we uh, have to keep in mind, go back to the drawing board, figure it out, calculate it in, and see maybe it'll be a different setup. Maybe we'll have just one PDU that will actually feed four, 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 and four. Maybe it'll, it'll feed 16 rigs. Who knows, different scenarios. But that's what we're currently working on here at Crypto LLC. Um, right now, like for our other rigs, we're not doing Octomine or any of those rigs. Those are just open air. And they work great, they work fine. Um, they handle beautifully. They uh, have maximum uh, mega hashes, uh, minimum wattage usage, and so on. Even though right now it's summertime, it's about 82 degrees outside, so it's pretty warm. So the GPUs are not that efficient right now, but that's only for during the day. And then at nighttime, temperatures drop and they become more efficient. With Octominer, it's a different setup. With Octominer, it's something that you would put as an exhaust right at the exhaust. So let's say this is our exhaust right there. The Octominers could be placed there. The only problem with them, let's, so you can imagine the shelf is over there, right? And you have your Octominers there placed. The only problem with that is they are loud. These fans are pretty loud. And so you don't want to put these in the residential areas, anywhere residential, especially if you have like a hundred of them. You have all those GPUs making noise and you got these fans making noise. It's a lot of noise. So you don't want to do that. You want to put open air and uh, residential slash small business areas. And then you can put Octominer in, in places where it doesn't really matter how loud it is. So if you own the property and you're out there somewhere in the woods, then Octominer is perfect. Uh, you'll have a container. For containers, is perfect. That's actually what we're gonna be building out for one of our, our other clients, is we're gonna be doing Octominers with him in a container. All right, so that's pretty much it. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Hit like, subscribe, because we got more videos coming. I'm gonna be building this guy out with some Gigabyte uh, three fan turbos, and then also, actually they're not turbos, they're just three fan Gigabytes. And then trying it out with EVGA XC3, and seeing the differences there in terms of uh, quality of airflow, uh, temperatures, uh, hash rate, noise, T taking a look at noise for sure, and so on. But that's gonna be it for this one, and until next time, bye.